Gamers, this is WarPG here, and this is my first installment for my Dark Angel, Dark Eldar, my bad, uh, Dark Eldar uh, army update, and so this is my Dark Eldar army as of now. I have two squads of warriors, ten men each, two, uh, where both of them have Dark Lances and Blasters. One squad, this one here, which is my newest squad, has uh, Magnetized Shredder as well. And both uh, of the warrior uh, leaders, um, the Cyberites, they both have uh, the Agonizer, and they both have uh, just their regular um, Splinter rifle. I did not choose to give them the Blaster pistol. Uh, then the rest of them, of course, just uh, the, the rifles. I have my Trueborn squad right here with my Duke, uh, with uh, all with uh, shard carbines, and with the two. Um, what are they called? Uh, the two dark, uh, the heavy, heavy ones. The uh, I can't can't re remember why I don't remember. It. I don't. Know. But the, they have the two shutter cannons. So there we go. And then I have two squads of witches, and they're pretty much both the same uh, for points wise. Uh, this one has the uh, helitrix with the agonizer, and then there's um the uh, Hydro Gauntlets, and then the um, Razor Flails. I'll be getting bits to change this out into the, uh, the Hydro Gauntlets, and then the other squads are exactly the same, um, because you don't get two Hydro Gauntlets, but once I get bits, uh, I'll just put them in there. And so, once I actually paint up this Hydro Gauntlet model, I'll be putting them in this squad, and I'll be putting the Razor Flail in that squad, uh, and so that way they both have the same thing. Um, and once I get bits for all those guys, or, or the chicks, or whoever, um, they'll get their their upgrades with just the Hydra Gauntlets, um, but they're both the same amount of points. I have three Reavers back here, um, even though they're all fuzzy, uh, and I magnetized weapon options, which I've shown before, and then I have a uh, Ravenger, which is to the left, and the Raiders to the right. Uh, all their bits and stuff, all the crewmen are in this bag because I didn't really feel like sending them out and getting poked and whatnot. So, uh, I'll just go around to all my squads real quickly, um, show you some models, uh, talk a little bit, and then that should be it. Um, hopefully this is going to be a long video. I don't plan for these videos to be very long, but um, uh, that's what it is. And so, I'll go into macro mode, and I'll be right back. Alright, so first up is my Duke. Uh, he has his twin uh, Venom Blades, and then his blaster is mounted to his wrist. I did a uh, pretty similar conversion, uh, just with the Warrior uh, kit, and then did some green stuff on for the cape, did a little bit of fur, and did the uh, little Venom parts for the blades. Um, and then, I'd, I've done a video on these guys before, but just to uh, put it in there. Then I put him, uh, gave him all the shard carbines, just by cutting the spin a rifle a little bit and then gluing it back on um, so I've done that to all of them and then with my uh, if you remember it wasn't this model, it was this model uh, this model had the older uh, shard cannon and then with the extra bits I had from the wear kits um, I would just put it onto that model so he looks pretty cool now uh, it's all updated and stuff and then the rest of them are pretty much all the same as before I haven't painted them, obviously. I'm still painting my witch squad, which is here. So my witches, they're still work in progress because I haven't been able to paint for a little while. But that's where they are at. My uh, my reavers, they're just kind of sitting here. I don't think I'll be using them in my list uh, once I have all my models for it. But as of right now, I'll I'll just be using them. And then the little witch bit, which was there. Let's zoom out a little bit. And then my other, um, my other guy with the magnetized weapons, if he doesn't fall off. So that's all magnetized. And then here is my second uh, warrior squad. And then I gave him the rifles because I thought that uh, my warrior squads are just going to be either sitting in the raiders, uh, zooming around, shooting things, or they'll be. Uh, holding objectives and stuff, and so I want to have as much firepower as I can, and I don't want to have just the little 18-inch uh, blaster pistol, 
um, and I can just have them keep their rifle, so that's good. Uh, for this model, I'm going to be trying to rip off his arms again and magnetize the shredder, so that way I can just have that extra uh, magnetization. Uh, I, I aim for my whole army, for my whole Dark Eldar army at least, uh, to be magnetized, mainly except for the heavy weapons, only because I really like the Dark Lances. Uh, they get a lot of range, and I don't really see uh, me using the shredder cannons um, that much, even though that they do put a lot of firepower. Um, but I like that I'm able to pop tanks really easily. And just in case the shredder, or um, if I choose the blaster, can swap out. Uh, the blaster is uh, pretty good too. I can assault with it, and then I can still, uh, or shoot and then assault with it still. And the benefit of the shredder is that I get the blast template. So if I'm playing orcs or if I'm playing nids or something, I'll just be able to um, take that off and then put with the shredder. So that'd be a pretty nice option. Um, here's my witch squad that I've recently competed, competed, and uh, like I said, I'll be playing up that um, hydra gauntlet guy for my other squad. Uh, but they're all they are all pretty much the same. And so there they are. And then my recently completed warrior squad here. And that uh, I just pretty much finished building a couple days ago. Um, again with my uh, the leader dude, which is Agonizer. Um, and then here's the the guy that's magnetized. I'll show him in just a second. Um, some more of my other dark uh, lance. Again, like a little bipod thing, so it looks pretty cool. I was gonna try to uh, put a rock on the base and then have the dark lance be sitting on the rock. But there's just not enough room on the base to be able to do that um, and have it look good. And with this uh, this squad, I really I wanted them to be like they're standing on the objective and have some guys covering fire from them. Uh, so that's why some of them are like that. And then so real quickly, I'll show you this guy or this guy because my battery's gonna be running out on my camera or something. And so all right, sorry about that, you guys. My uh, memory card just ran out on me. Alright, so on this guy, what I did, is if I can do it with one hand, should be really good if I can, there we go, is that at first I tried to do something I saw AG Productions do, which is he drilled a hole through the middle of the torso, and then he put like a paper clip or something like that, so that way it's pretty much arms that are just pinned on. And then like, nah, I'll try that, and so that didn't really work. Uh, and then, I'm like, okay, well, I'll get my magnet and see if it's just, uh, just wide enough so it can sit in the torso. Well, that didn't really help either. And so, pretty much the whole torso in there is all hollowed away. Uh, and so I had to green stuff it. And at the end of the night, which was probably around 12.30 at night or something like that, uh, I cut the magnet <laughs> with my clippers. Yeah, the, the magnet, it was thin enough so I can cut it in half and then into quarters, and so that way uh, I can fit the magnet in there, and then I got the magnet to just be glued onto the side, or onto just one arm, and uh, so that was me being efficient with my magnets, um, <laughs> yeah, not really wasting them, but um, still being able to do this conversion, and so as you can see, it, it clips on very nicely. Um, it works really well, especially since these magnets are a lot bigger than the sockets of the arms. Uh, you can just tell by how thin these arms are that it just doesn't really work that, way, that well. And so all I did is then uh, just put the magnet on the arm and then just glued up the model uh, and then it fits. And so there's some uh, green stuff work that I have to do, um, like that split right there and then filling up the edges uh, all along there, but in gameplay, it'll be perfectly fine. Um, so I just clip that off, get my other one, clip that in, and voila, now I have the shredder. And so, I'm going to try to do this with uh, my, other, uh, my other blaster guy right here, because I have the bits uh, to be able to do it, and then I have one single magnet. Um, I think I have like four mag magnets left, so I do have to get more, but um, I just gotta clip off those arms uh, very carefully with the new blade, and then I'll be able to magnetize it a little bit. Uh, so, that's how that turned out. Um, 
other than that, that's really all I have to uh, have to say. Um, so yeah, before I ramble on and make this video um, another 20-minute video, which I'm just surprised that I got that amount of views for right now. I think it's like 20 views or something. Um, I'll just say thank you for all of you who have subscribed recently. I have 373 uh, subscribers so far, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's uh, and then on one of my videos got like 100 uh, 100 views, so just that alone is pretty nice. Um, seeing that uh, at least a quarter, if uh, a little bit more, my subscribers are watching. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it at that. And so, hope you all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.